Hi, I'm Tamara from Glass Coat and today we're going to do a resin art finish using the glass coat onto a white table. Today we're going to use the glass coat, part A and part B finish, which we'll mix together. We'll also use some artist's enamels and some artist's acrylics. So we're going to start by taking the legs off. This way we can work at a more manageable level with some cups underneath. I'm going to try and make sure it's as level as possible. Now we need it approximately for this size, which is around 50 centimetres. We need 500 mils approximately of resin. So what we're going to do is measure part A up to the 250 line, and then we're going to put into part B uh, up to the 500 mil line. So we take our stick and we want to stir in a circular motion. You can see that it will go cloudy and it'll be creating a few air bubbles in there. You want to continue to mix for at least two minutes. You have around about 45 minutes before it will start setting off. So once you've started to mix and you're at this point, it's a good idea to stay close and not to walk away and leave it. So what I'm going to do now is just divide this up into a couple of colours that we're going to use on the table today. So I've pre-mixed a bit of white and green together to make a mint colour. I'm going to pour the, colour, the clear out into the cups. We're going to use three colours. We're also going to use white, but we're going to use the white of the base of this board. Make sure you mix the colour in well. We're then going to apply them onto the board. Now the clear is going to help give it a little bit of depth and we're using the white from the base of the table to actually show white through the bottom. I'm going to just lift that up and move it around a little bit and allow it to run. I'm just going to use a little bit of this black and I'm just going to drag it through. I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker Again, I like moving it, so we're going to move it again. To use the butane torch, you want to put it close enough in a circular motion and you'll be able to see all the air bubbles bursting. Make sure you cover over all of the area on the, on the tabletop, looking at different angles. So what we're going to do is utilise the resin that's on the table up here and like a basting, cooking basting method, we're going to just pop it on the sides just carefully, not to drizzle any on the top. So I'm just going to go back over the surface with the butane torch. So again, just in a circular motion and we're going to try and cover the whole surface, just making sure we eliminate the rest of the air bubbles that are sitting in the surface. So what you're going to see through here is some fluffing action and between the, the black and that on that mint green and it's just a reaction between the two of them and it's separating. And as it continues to run, it will continue to stretch out slowly. These drips will continue to happen until the resin is finished and starts setting. Move them off by just scraping underneath and you'll find that they will reform. So in about an hour's time, you can come back and do the same thing and it's gonna be quite sticky and tacky like toffee and that will help minimise the size of the drips. And then once it's finished at 24 hours, you can give them a light hand sand over and that will just smooth them off. At 48 hours, you can pop the legs on it and then pop it into your lounge room. It'll be perfect for a vase with flowers and some magazines.